how to set up your tournament.net sidekick photo wall server. The first thing we're going to do here is show you how to set this up. I'm actually showing you on my um, my MacBook screen here, um, but what you will do is once you power on the sidekick server on the TV, you'll see a screen like this. Um, and depends on whether you've got an, uh, a network connection, uh, hardwired or Wi-Fi, you're going to have a different number down here based on what how you're connecting. I'm going to assume that you've already connected it to your router there at the dojo, and you're ready to go. Um, this here, I show my Wi-Fi that I'm not connected to at the moment. But what you'll do is you'll see that uh, there's an IP address here, HTTP colon slash slash. Well, you'll go to another computer that's on your network and type that in. You'll get a screen like this, which will be the same thing that's displaying on your photo wall server. And then you want to do slash setup right after that. You'll click enter, and you'll get the sidekick configuration screen. Um, from here, you'll hit uh, edit at the end of this uh, table line and you can change the school information. I'm going to just change this here so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to change it to, to Stewart's Kenpo Karate Club. My motto is going to be sweep the leg. Now you can put in your telephone number, your website, email address. We've got some social media links here. Um, you can see you have to paste the entire URL here from Facebook. Um, so I suggest you go to Facebook, go to your page, and look up in the browser, and then copy that entire thing out. It'd probably be uh, facebook.com slash your karate school. Um, for Twitter, if you have an account, you just put your username in there. Um, same for YouTube. And then you'll just update the dojo. That will set, you can either click the back button um, or click the back browser button. Um, view ranks, you can have a look at that. Uh, it's just going to give you the belt levels. Um, these are pretty much uh, standard across the board, so you really don't need to do anything with that. Um, you back out of that. Um, the most important thing here is the view students. So that's where you're going to do all your magic. Uh, right now we have no students in there, so we just have to go over and click the Add New Student button and we'll be provided with um, some information to fill in for the student. We will choose a, a file. Uh, that would be their picture. It doesn't really matter what size as long as it's a standard size from your digital camera or iPhone or smartphone. It's all going to be good. Just um, it'll, it'll pull up a dialog box for you to choose from whatever computer you're on. Um, in this case, I don't have any files or pictures on this computer, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just let it use a, a default placeholder. I'm going to put in a student here. I'm going to put in myself. And I am actually hitting the tab button in between these fields and you can see they do highlight once I'm in there. You're also able to click on there with your mouse. I just find it's easier, especially when we're doing a bunch of them in the beginning. The setup, we want to tab is a lot quicker. Now there is a um, form you can download from tournament.net that gives you all these fields. You can print them out and hand them to your students and then you know, um, churn through this stack of them once you've got them. All right, uh, in the gray is your group memberships. So on the photo wall, um, right underneath the student's name will show up mini badges uh, based on what they belong to. I'm just for the sake of this tutorial going to click on them all to see what they all look like but obviously you'd only choose the ones that the student belongs to. Uh, we have Black Belt Club, SWAT, Storm, Demo, Tournament Team, and of course Tournament.net. Now once you're done, create student. Uh, we see that 
we just have a confirmation screen of everything that went in there. Click the back button. I see here, and this is going to be the students page. As we fill this up, there'll be more and more. If in the event you lose a student or have to change something, you can come back to this page. Um, and then at the very end, there are show, edit, delete. If you need to delete them, you can just delete here. Um, otherwise, if you need to change something, maybe they joined another club or they left a club, you can edit that and change that as well. Um, also, if you want to change their rank, of course, go in here and change their rank. Um, but what I want to show you here is once you've got the student in here, we're going to go to the photo wall. And what's going to happen is you're going to see what this is looking like. Now, you will be able to do this uninterruptedly um, to the photo wall. If you want to put the photo wall at your pro shop, maybe hang it behind the counter, on the wall. Don't worry about it. You can access it by any computer on your network, and it will be non-disruptive to the flow. Once you add a student, it will show up here on the photo wall server on the TV. Here you see a placeholder because I did not choose a, a photo. Um, it will appear for 18 seconds and then it will fade to the next. Since I only have one, it's fading to the same one. You see student's name here and all the mini badges that represent uh, Black Belt Club, SWAT, Storm, Demo, Tournament Team, and of course Tournament.net, followed by underneath um, the answers to the bio questions. Um, and that's about it. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to blackbelt at tournament.net. That's tournament with a, with a zero. Um, or you can call the office at 401-461-6500. We'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching, and keep on kicking.